and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is bht with dead end which is marked as a medium level problem but believe me the way i will explain it it will become very easy problem to you so without wasting any time let's get started let's first of all check what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given the root node of a bht binary search tree and we have to check if it is a dead end if uh, the bht contains a dead end or not okay so the first question which should arise is what is a dead end okay so here it is very clearly written that a dead end is a leaf node in the bht so we only have to check the leaf nodes okay because if the node is not a leaf node it will never be a dead end okay all right so what are leaf nodes leaf node basically are those nodes which do not have any children like this nine this seven this one they don't have uh, either left node or right like left children or right children both they don't have so these are the leaf nodes okay all right so we have to check these leaf nodes and such that no new node can be inserted in the bht at or below this node okay so if we cannot insert any node in the left or right of uh, these leaf nodes it means it is a dead end and we will return true but if we can insert new nodes if we can insert new nodes in all of these leaf nodes if we can insert new nodes in all of these leaf nodes it means there is no dead end and we will return false okay all right i think very very easy it is but here there is one more property that we can only insert such that we maintain the bht property and all node values must be greater than zero so we can only insert such that we maintain the bht property so what is the bht property i hope many of you will be knowing but if not let me give you a quick walkthrough of what are bht properties so look the bht property basically is if there is this node 8 it means all the left nodes of this 8 should have value less than 8 should have value less than 8 okay and on the right side of it all the nodes value should be greater than 8 okay so in this way if we will consider let's suppose this 7 so uh, okay for 7 like you can see it is the right side of right children of 5 okay so all the values should be less should be greater than 5 should be greater than 5 okay so it's 7 okay similarly all the values here this you can see this 7 is the part of this left subtree so all the values should be less than 8 as well so greater than 5 and less than 8 because if it is 10 if suppose its value is 10 so it is not a bht because uh, you know all the left nodes of 8 should be less than 8 but here it is 10 okay so we have to maintain this order and one more uh, thing is there all node values must be greater than 0 okay i think the problem statement will be a bit clear to you now so let's quickly walk through some of the examples and we will understand what the problem is saying okay let's move to this one node section here okay so we will only check the leaf nodes okay so one is one a dead end is one a dead end let's see can we insert any value on the left side of one no why we cannot insert because the only value we can insert on the left side of one is zero but we cannot insert zero because here you can see the condition all node values must be greater than zero okay so we cannot insert anything on the left can we insert anything on the right can we insert anything here okay so look the only value we can insert here like we will try to insert should be greater than one because it's on the right side of one so greater than one which means two can we insert two here come on guys can we insert two no we cannot insert two because this is the left side of two this is the left children of this node 2 so all the values in the left side of 2 should be less than 2 but here we are inserting 2 which is equal to the uh, root node which is wrong so we cannot neither insert on the left side we cannot insert on the right side and we have got a dead end we have got a dead end and we will simply return true okay all right let's move to the next example this one again here let's examine 2 9 13 because these are only the root nodes okay so we will start with 2 
can we insert anything in the left side of two yes of course we can insert we can simply insert one so it means it is not a dead end can we insert anything on the nine let's see let's see in the left side so left side of nine should contain values less than nine so what's one less than nine eight so let's see if we can insert eight can we insert it look it's less than nine but here you can see this this picture if you will see all the values should be greater than eight but here it is equal to eight so we cannot insert eight here uh, minimum value we can insert is nine okay so we cannot insert anything on the left side of this can we insert anything on the right side of nine like on the right side of nine it should be greater than nine of course so it should be 10 minimum value it should be 10 can we insert 10 no we cannot insert why because if you will see this subtree 10 10 in the left side of 10 all the values should be less than 10 but here it is equal to 10 it means it is not possible so here you can see we cannot insert in the left side and we cannot insert at the right side as well it means it is a dead node it is a dead node and if any of the node is dead we will simply return true okay let's see this example here uh, there are only two leaf nodes three and nine can we insert anything in the left side of three can we insert so left side of three uh, it's like two uh, minimum two value so can we insert two no we cannot insert two because it's in the right side you can see if this two so in the left children is null and right children is this three so can we insert anything like two here no because right side all the values should be greater than two okay so we cannot insert two here okay but can we insert in the right children of three like what minimum can we insert in the right side four can we insert four is four is correct or not let's see so basically it's greater than two okay so but for five five left side five left side should contain all the nodes less than five yes correct four is less than five for eight the left side should contain all the values less than four uh, less than eight which is correct so yes we can insert four okay all right great so it means this is not a leaf node this is not a leaf node which is correct okay uh not a dead end nine it's it this a dead end no it's not a dead end at all because we can simply insert 10 here okay so it is not a dead end it is not a dead end it means there is no dead end and we will return false so it means we have seen all the ways like uh, false and true okay now the thing is how are we going to approach this what should be the approach of it which is very very simple we will simply use a dfs i will say uh, uh, in order traversal i think okay so let me quickly delete all these delete okay all right so what approach are we going to do look currently i am at 8 so when i am at 8 minimum value here can be 0 like greater than 0 it, uh, and its max integer max value can be on the right side okay so these are the limits for this and both of them are not included okay all right now when i will move to the left side what i will do zero minimum will maintain but what can be the maximum value it can only be less than 8 so here it is this okay so again i will go to the left side when i will go to left side so you can see like 5 10 2 so this now for this minimum value can be 2 and greater value can only be 5 by both are not included 0 and 5 are not included okay when i will move to this left again minimum value greater than 0 and maximum value less than 2 okay so which is 1 okay now at any point when we will get something like uh, like what like one so can we insert anything less than one no because it's basically zero can we insert anything greater than one no because it will be equal to two so this is the limit and we will get false okay similarly similarly if i will show you here i think you guys are getting this it's very very simple approach delete okay again look here zero comma max which is basically means both are not included like greater than zero and less than max infinity okay when i will go to left side what will happen uh, greater than zero and less than eight 
okay something like this so which is 7 which is correct again when i will go to the left it will become something like 0 comma 2 okay so now can we insert anything in the left side when i will try to insert it will basically check what 0 uh, like 1 we can insert because on the left side maximum is uh, 2 minimum is 0 which means 1 can be inserted okay when i will go to the left side here basically what will happen is uh, look 8 will be the minimum and maximum can be anything okay when i will go to here for 9 it will be something like 8 comma 10 8 comma 10 if look now i'm going to tell you the condition the condition is if the node is if any node is uh, let's say equal to min plus 1 and max minus 1 if any node is equal to min plus 1 and max minus 1 both it means it's a dead end and we will return true so this is what we have to do very very simple code is this and when i'm going to write the code of it it will become more more clear to you but before that if you are wondering what is this brain sign here it's basically telling me that uh, what problems i have taken help of and we need to revise it again so here if you are watching this video it means you have taken help add this problem here to add for review and now you have to revise it again on june 13 and if you want to configure the days you can configure the days by here five six how many after how many days you want to revise okay so this is the chrome extension i have built and it will very very help you in revising these problems which you are taking help okay i think you will definitely like it the link will be in the pinned comment okay all right now let's see the code of it so we will simply going to let's use a return dead okay uh, the any function you can write a, any name you can give check so here first of all i will pass root now for this root node my minimum value is zero and maximum value is integer dot max value okay all right moving on uh, let's write static boolean check first thing it is getting is root then int min then int max okay all right first thing is there if root is equal to null it means it's not a dead end and we will return false okay now if you remember the condition i have already told you which is what if min plus 1 is equal to root dot data and and max minus 1 is equal to root dot data it means it's a dead end and we will return to okay otherwise if i will come to 24 line it means this root node is not a dead end so i will check in the left side left subtree and the right subtree how i'm going to check very very simple so return again call this check function once for the left side root dot left now when i'm checking for the root dot left uh, let's see this if i'm checking for this so minimum value will be the same and maximum value will be now eight okay all right so how i'm going to write this minimum value will be the minimum whatever it is and maximum value will be what root dot data okay so similarly if in the left side if we get any dead end or in the right side if we get any dead end how for the right side root dot right okay now if i'm going to go in the right side if i'm going to go in the right side look minimum value will be eight minimum value will be root dot data okay and maximum will be whatever it is current maximum so it's basically something like root dot data and maximum is this okay and uh, if you are thinking what is min and max why i am retaining it so it's very very simple if you will see if i'm going here so what will be the minimum value minimum value will be five okay minimum value will be like current root is five so it will be five and what will be the maximum value maximum value will be whatever the maximum value i get here maximum value for this get y what i get here is eight so here minimum is five and maximum is eight 
okay something like this both are not included both cannot be included okay so we can simply add six here something like this six we can add so yeah in this way um, we are going to do all right let's try to compile this again to check if i have not done any silly mistake and meanwhile if you have loved this explanation please subscribe the channel and like the video because i'm doing my best to explain it and i'm making this video in very night as well so please honor the my effort and subscribe the channel like the video comment down what you liked in this make sure to check out this chrome extension as well it will really really help you in uh, revising i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye